Dear friends, we are very grateful to all of you for joining us in this funeral mass offered for the soul of Mary de Cruz. We are here to thank and praise God for the beautiful life of Mary de Cruz. Even though God has called Mary to himself, the memories she has left us with are so fresh in our hearts and minds. Mary lived a life of love and brought happiness and joy to everyone around her. We thank God today for gifting Mary to Morris, the children and the whole family. We also thank God because in some way or the other, Mary has enriched our lives. She was a very devout person of deep faith and had great devotion to Mother Mary. We are confident that Mary being in the presence of our Heavenly Father will intercede for us from above. The angels have beckoned you, Mary, to your rest, and many a soft and plaintive cry will go up from the broken hearts that you leave behind. Let us with the spirit of oneness and confident of our own resurrection participate in this Eucharist. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. As we participate in this Eucharistic celebration, let us, in a very special way, Ask God to bless and grant eternal rest to our sister Mary and to give strength, courage, and consolation to, his, to her bereaved family, especially Morris and her children. To be worthy to partake of these celebrations, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess to, to Almighty God, God and, and to you, my brothers, brothers and sisters. sisters that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do. To my fault, to my fault, to my most grievous fault. Therefore I ask, Blessed Mary, and the Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen.
us free. O God, Almighty Father, our faith professes that your Son died and rose again. Mercifully grant that through this mystery, your servant Mary, who has fallen asleep in Christ, may rejoice to rise again through him, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the Book of Wisdom. The souls of the virtuous are in the hands of God. No torment shall ever touch them. In the eyes of the unwise, they did appear to die. Their going looked like a disaster. They are leaving us like annihilation, but they are in peace. If they experienced punishment as men see it, their hope was rich in immortality. Slight was their affliction, great will their blessings be. God has put them to the test and proved them worthy to be with him. He has tested them like gold in a furnace and accepted them as a holocaust. When the time comes for his visitation, they will shine out. As sparks run through the stubble, so will they. They shall judge nations, rule over people, and the Lord will be their king forever. They who trust in him will understand the truth. Those who are faithful will live with him in love. For grace and mercy await those he has chosen. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God.
stand with you and with your spirit a reading from the holy gospel according to luke glory, glory to, to you o lord. lord now as they went on their way he entered a certain village where a woman named martha welcomed him into her home she had a sister named mary who sat at the lord's feet and listened to what he was saying but martha was distracted by her many tasks she came to him and asked lord do you not care that my sister has left me to do all the work by myself tell her then to help me but the lord answered her martha martha you are worried and distracted by many things there is need of only one thing mary has chosen the better part which will not be taken away from her the gospel of the lord praise to you lord jesus christ my dear friends the book of wisdom chapter 3 verse 1 says the souls of the virtuous are in the hands of god how true how apt are these words for mary truly mary was a virtuous woman she was such a loving caring hospitable warm you can go on adding adjectives to describe what mary was 
You know, every time in the morning when I used to enter her house, I would lovingly say to her, Dikruzi, because I'm also Dikruz. And she would respond to me so lovingly, How are you? And I will really miss her. I will never be able to call her that way again. You know, Mary and Morris have been a part of me for more than 35 long years. I had the privilege to celebrate their silver jubilee. I celebrated their golden jubilee five years ago. They were so much a part of my life. And you will wonder, why did I choose the gospel of Martha and Mary, the two sisters whom Jesus visited often, accepted their hospitality? For me, the house of Mary and Morris is like the house of Bethany, where Jesus visited and went very often. I also chose this gospel because Mary and Anita are two sisters. And when Jesus went to the house of Martha and Mary, Martha welcomed him warmly, but Mary sat at the feet of Jesus to listen to him. That was the character of Mary. Prayer was a priority in her life. She would spend hours praying to, to Jesus, to Mary. And so, my dear friends, Mary lived a beautiful life. What we are celebrating here is not a funeral service. It is thanksgiving for the gift of Mary and for the kind of life that she lived. Saint Mother Teresa has a beautiful quote. She said, a life not lived for others is no life at all. How apt for Mary. She lived her life for others. First for her family, for Morris, for their children. And she lived for every person who encountered her in her lifetime. Mary was an epitome of love. So generous, so warm. Nobody went to, who came to her house without having anything. She was so hospitable. And today, it pains me to say goodbye to such a wonderful person I knew for such a long time. Mary, like Mother Teresa said, Help one person at a time and always start with the person nearest you. Who were the friends of Mary? The domestic helpers, the watchmen who do their duties around her place, the poor and the needy. I remember during COVID time, how much Mary went out of her way to help these poor people. She would request Anita to bring rice and she would quietly call them and give it to them. And she would say, poor people, they are suffering. Today, as I miss Mary, I want to tell all of you that Mary was a very, very prayerful person. She spent hours together praying, not praying for herself, 
she would pray for those in trouble. Whoever came and told her that I have a problem, and Mary always took that problem to the Lord and to Mother Mary. Mary's concern for the poor, the needy, was her heart broke when she saw somebody poor. And when I was reflecting on Mary's life, I came to a conclusion. Only those who experience poverty can understand the pain of the poor. That is why Mary loved the poor and the needy. You know, when Mary and Morris were in Darjeeling, when they were working in the school, Mary used to teach as well as look after the boys. And so many of those boys have sent messages. They used to phone and ask Mary, how are you, ma'am? And they remember all her kindness because she used to look after those children like her own. She used to get so worried when they would feel sick. So much love Mary had for the children, so much that they still remember her goodness to them. Well, Mary was a missionary on the quiet. If you go to the hill country in Kersion, Mary built quite a few homes for the poorest of the poor. She didn't trumpet her good deeds. She was quiet. As Jesus said to Martha, your sister has chosen the better part. Mary was quiet, reflective. She spoke very few words, but she was a holy person, devout. And so today, as we have reflected on this gospel and the first reading, which says, the souls of the virtuous are in the hands of God. They need not fear because God has already tested them like gold in the furnace. And now Mary has been crowned. She has been given the crown by God that she truly deserved for every good thing that she did in her life. I know Mary's death has brought so much of grief, gloom to Morris, to, her, to their children, to Anita and the whole family. I want to tell Morris today, you were the lucky one because you had Mary for more than 55 years long. Plus the, the time that you were friends before getting married. Mary took care of you. You were such wonderful companions. She was always worried about you, Morris, about your health. She gave you her best. And today I would like to tell you, Morris, even if Mary is gone, you will never be alone. For Mary's sake and for her love, we will do everything for you, whatever you need, and whenever you need. To Minivia, Malcolm, and Mervyn, your mother was the best in the world. She gave you all the best. She loved you all. She prayed for you all. She always was worried about all of you. No one can replace her. But 
What I would like you to do is to carry forward her legacy, her virtues, her qualities in your lives. And that will be the greatest respect you will pay to your mother. And I'm sure that all the three of you have come is because your mom wanted you all to be here. To Anita, I have never seen the love of two sisters. Anita, you were privileged to take care of Mary, to show Mary your immense love, especially in her last days. I saw you looked after Mary like a baby for the last one and a half month. You made her comfortable. You did everything that you could. And I know I heard you tell people, I prayed so much to God for a miracle. Why did he not do it? And today I want to tell you that God worked a miracle that he took Mary to himself so that she could have no pain or suffering, that she could be in a better place. And you were the best sister that she could ever have. To Mary, we owe a lot because she did so much for us. And I would like to tell Mary, as we bid farewell to her, you know, when Archbishop Romero of El Salvador was shot dead while celebrating mass, for his funeral, the people of El Salvador had put up banners Archbishop Romero, you continue to live in the hearts of your people and in their struggle. I want to tell Mary that in life we loved you and in death we love you all the more. It is difficult to say goodbye to such a loving person, but it is God's will that Mary should be in the presence of God, enjoying that eternal happiness that she longed for. She participated devoutly in Holy Mass every day in this cathedral. During COVID time, she would watch Holy Mass on television, participate in the Holy Hours with her praying partner, Mina. She did so much, she was the favorite of God. And so Mary, I want to wish you goodbye. Thank you for everything you did, for all of us, especially for Morris and for your children and grandchildren. Thank you for the love that you had for your siblings, especially the closeness you enjoyed with Anita. May the good Lord give you that golden crown that you truly deserve. And I would like to conclude with these words for Mary. Mary, God saw you getting tired and a cure was not to be. So he put his arms around you and whispered, Come with me. With tearful eyes, we watched you slowly fade away. Although we loved you dearly, we would not make you stay. A golden heart stopped beating. Your hard-working hands put to rest. God broke our hearts to prove to us he only takes the best. Rest in peace, Mary.
kindly rise for the prayers of the faithful. Let our response be, Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We pray for our Holy Father, Pope Francis, bishops, priests, and religious, and all those who proclaim the consolation of Christ's death and resurrection to families and communities in sorrow. We pray that God may increase their faith and make them bearers of lasting, meaningful hope. Your response? Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. May the, may the memory of Auntie Mary's kindness, generosity, and laughter enable those whose lives she touched to bear witness to the mystery of Jesus' love in their lives. May by the love Auntie Mary showed during her life, now enjoy the perfection and fulfillment of that love in heaven. Your response? Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Loving Father, with grateful hearts, we remember Auntie Mary for all the love she shared with her family and with all of us. For all the good she did, and for all the happiness she spread around her. We ask you, Lord, to make us loving persons, radiating your love to all around us. Your response? Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. May the prayer of Mother Mary, who stood by the cross as her son Jesus was dying, help those who mourn, and all of us who mourn the passing away of Auntie Mary. Your response? Lord, Lord in, in your mercy, mercy hear our prayer. For all our deceased relatives and friends, that they may be united with all of God's children. Heavenly Father, we ask you in your mercy and goodness to grant them eternal bliss. Your response? Lord, Lord in, in your mercy, mercy, hear our prayer. Heavenly Father, these are our prayers and petition placed before you. In your love, accept them and grant to us as and when we need them. We make this prayer to Christ our Lord. Amen. Brethren, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. As we humbly present to you the sacrificial offerings, O Lord, for the salvation of your servant Mary, we beseech your mercy that she, 
who did not doubt your son to be a loving savior, may find in him a merciful judge who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For as one alone he accepted death, so that we might all escape from dying. As one man he chose to die, so that in your sight we might all live forever. And so, in company with the chorus of angels, we praise you and with joy we proclaim. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them with the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and the blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. i 
Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that I felt as worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis our Pope, Derek Fernandez, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember your servant, Mary de Cruz, whom we have called today from this world to yourself. Grant that she may pass united with in your son, like him, also with him in the resurrection. Remember also, brothers and sisters, fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection. All who are died in your mercy, welcome them into your light of a face. Have mercy on us all, we pray. Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God. Saint Joseph, blessed apostles, all your sins, please through the ages. May the request of life praise you and glorify you through Jesus Christ our Lord. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At our Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may always be free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, the glory, and the glory of God, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant a peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be always with you. And with your spirit. Let us offer one another the sign of peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not, not worthy that, that you should enter under my roof, but, but only say the word, the word and, and my soul shall be healed.
O God, whose Son left us in the sacrament of his body, food for the journey, mercifully grant that, strengthened by it, our sister Mary may come to the eternal table of Christ, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Kindly be seated. tribute of love, my beloved mom. We are gathered here today from far and wide to express our love and gratitude. My darling mom, mom was a devoted wife, a loving mother, sister, aunt, and friend to many here present and around the world. She will always live in our memories as a kind and generous person, a person who would not hesitate to help those in need. Mom was an example of strength and wisdom. She specialized in doing thoughtful deeds. She practiced the art of reaching out to others and giving from her heart. She was a gem of a person dignity and humility personified. There have been times in our life, Mom, when your love has made all the difference when things were tough. The fact that you were there and we got through together helped us make us stronger. You gave us the greatest gift a mother can give, a beautiful example of strength, faith, and courage. You have instilled in us the values of generosity, humility and forgiveness. We miss you, Mom, and wish we had many years with you. Thank you for being such a great role model for us. Your willingness to help the weak and downtrodden, to stand for the weak, these traits of yours will be your legacy, which we will carry forward in our lives. For 77 years, you fought life's battles, won many, lost some, but nothing ever discouraged you from marching forward. You were dad's greatest strength, family, friends, rich or poor, were always on your radar, and you were available for them at all times. Your fond memories, of being a paragon of love, affection, and good deeds will linger in our hearts. Mom was an epitome of all virtues a person can possess. You have gone to a place of peace and calm where you will be safe from all the pain and worry. You have left a void in the hearts of those you have loved, but we know you will be watching down on us from heaven above. Rest in peace, knowing that your work on earth is done, your tri trials are over, your race is run. May God grant you an awesome place in this kingdom of heaven. You will always be a part of us, mom, and we will feel your strength when we need you the most. Rest in peace, we love you. On behalf of Morris and the family, I'd like to thank people who have been such a great support, especially in this moment of grief and sadness. I'd like to thank God for having given us Mary for 77 years, for all the blessings that God gave her in her life the blessing of Morris and her loving children. I'd like to thank Mary, even though she can't hear me, but I want to thank her for everything that she did in her life. 
especially the good for reaching out for loving till the end i'd like to thank father jack and his assistant father santosh for helping us to make all the arrangements for this thanksgiving mass i want to thank very specially for all my brother priests who are come here from far distances leaving their work they have made it and have joined us in this mass in praying for mary and the family thank you dear fathers i like to thank all the sisters who visited mary and also who have come and participated in this mass a special thanks to gladys jennifer ryan for all their assistance for looking after aunty mary for ryan for reaching out in so many ways making things easy for us thank you for all you have done mary's neighbors were so gracious so kind to come and pray in the home and also to render help thank you we can never forget dr lorena who came every day to see mary took her pressure spoke to her words of courage and consolation thank you lorena for all your kindness want to thank anil paul for making all the arrangements for this funeral jitendra raju rita who looked after mary like to thank swini for making these beautiful floral arrangements for mary's funeral mass thank you the choir members so many of you have taken leave just to sing for this mass shows your love for mary thank you very much like to thank george for making all the arrangements in the church the karunalaya staff for all your help for joyce wagmare and mariamma for all your help like to thank gracian gomes in a very special way for all the help that you have rendered i like to thank all the family and friends who have traveled from far and wide to come here to pay your last respects to mary thank you for making the sacrifice to be here for mary's funeral and thanks to all the parishioners for taking your time to participate in this funeral service of mary god bless all of you this is an announcement to all the family members and all those who have traveled from far after the burial please come home for a small prayer and lunch will be served immediately so that you can travel back home with faith in Jesus Christ we reverently bring the body of our sister mary to be buried in its human imperfection let us pray with confidence to god who gives life to all things that he will raise up this mortal body to the perfection and the company of the saints may god give mary a merciful judgment and forgive all her sin may christ the good shepherd lead mary safely home to be at peace with god our father and may all, may and may she always be happy forever with all the saints in the presence of the eternal king
saints of God. Come to her aid. Come to meet him, angels of the Lord. Receive her soul and present her to God the Most High. May Christ who called you take you to himself. May angels lead you to Abraham's side. Receive her soul and present her to God the Most High. Give her eternal rest, O Lord, and may your light shine on her forever. Receive her soul and present her to God the Most High. Father, into your hands we commend our sister Mary. We are confident that with all who have died in Christ, Mary will be raised to a life on the last day and live with Christ forever. We thank you for all the blessings you gave Mary in this life to show your fatherly care for all of us and the fellowship which is ours with the saints in Jesus Christ. Lord, hear our prayer. Welcome our sister to paradise and help us to comfort each other with the assurance of our faith until we all meet in Christ to be with you and with our sister Mary forever. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. May the angels lead you into paradise. May the martyrs come to welcome you and take you to the holy city, the new and eternal Jerusalem. Will I be 